The day marks two years since Governor Gavin Newsom issued a state of emergency in California, all because of COVID-19. At that time, there were 53 positive cases in the state, with over 9,000 being forced to quarantine at home. Since then, the state has confirmed almost 9 million cases. Last week, the governor rescinded many COVID-19 related executive orders, but the state of emergency remains in place. Joining us now as we reflect back on the last two years is Dr. Vanessa Walker. Dr. Walker, we have talked to you quite a bit over these last two years. Good to see you again this morning. Thanks, you too. You know, as a doctor, we know you were on the front lines of this pandemic. How would you describe the last two years? Oh, uh, definitely the most challenging two years of my life. I'm sure the same for everybody. Um, but having to go in every day at the very beginning uh, where we were terrified uh, that we were going to get sick um, and uh, just, you know, moving through it, trying to deal with all the challenges as, a, you know, a normal person just trying to get through the day and then adding all that stress on top of it um, and having to work extra hours and um, deal with so many people sick and dying. Um, it's taken a huge toll on everybody in the healthcare industry. Yeah, talk some specifics about the impact of this emergency order. I mean, it changed literally everything for us here in California, and we know that it definitely affected your industry because we know that you, we talked about fatigue. We talked about, you know, folks really just quitting their jobs after after a period of time just because they couldn't handle and didn't want to handle the pressure. Talk about some of the other specific things that you saw. You know, one of the really unique challenges that we've noticed um, in healthcare uh, is the the kind of the lack of trust that has really started to grow uh, in our industry. Before the pandemic, um, I rarely had people second guessing our intentions um, and uh, our knowledge base. And after that, once the pandemic came out, it seemed that everybody um, was an expert on everything. <laughs> and it made it really challenging just to practice medicine uh, because we were constantly being second guessed uh, for taking care of just basic medical needs, not to mention being brought, you know, uh, things that were frankly not working have been proven to be ineffective. Um, and it was just, it was really challenging to deliver the right healthcare to our patients. Um, and it really fractured, uh, the, I think the confidence they had in us as well as our relationship. And, and that makes it really hard to continue to deliver healthcare moving forward. And I really hope we're gonna be able to gain that trust back um, as we move on. Yeah, I was gonna ask you that. We have about a minute here. Do you think that's gonna change? Do you see that changing as we progress here now? That confidence, uh, I, mean. I mean, I absolutely hope so. I think we're gonna need to be more communicative. I think that people are gonna really have to understand that medicine is not a 100% black or white situation it changes every single day. And so new things come out, new information, and then we want to change and pivot. That doesn't mean we didn't know what we were talking about before. We were just making decisions with the best information that we had. Um, and uh, as we move forward, I'm hoping that people will see that. We're, we're constantly trying to help them and deliver healthcare in the best way that we can. We're here to partner with them. Um, and you know, we're in this for the long haul. Talk about next steps really quickly. We have about 30 seconds here. Uh, what do you see happening in the near future? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, just in the sense of the pandemic, I'm really hoping that we start to get the uh, oral antiviral medications out and more available so that we can prescribe these in the outpatient setting and prevent hospitalizations. So every time we have a really big surge, we can protect the people that need uh, protection the most. I think that will help us continue to to live more normal lives. And then I really hope that as you know more possible pandemics might come out, um, that we act as a community a little more cohesively and really work to protect each other. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping that this lesson is learned is that if we work together, we can accomplish really great things. Very well said, Dr. Walker. Always a pleasure to see you and to talk to you. We thank, thank you. you so much for uh, for doing this interview with us and giving us your perspective. Yeah, bye bye.